Well, Superman has his Fortress of Solitude, and Bruce Wayne, he's got the Batcave, and me, the Menzoid, I've got the Menzoid Man Cave, a place to sit back, chill out, talk about the issues of the day, and I'm very happy to have back in the Man Cave with me, Sun News Network, Ace reporter Faith Goldie. Welcome back, Good Faith. Good to be back here, Menzoy. And happy birthday. I won't dare ask a lady what her age is, but happy birthday <laughs> Thank nonetheless. Thank you very much. I'll get you a piece of cake later. Uh, you, <laughs> you know, actually, Faith, <laughs> I, wish, I wish there was something to celebrate about this story. Now, yeah. folks, you know last summer uh, the uh, gun registry was finally put out of its misery uh, by the uh, federal government. But, Faith, you're on to a story how the registry might be brought back for certain types of guns through the back door. What's going on? Yeah, less of a uh, registry than it is a reclassification, which in this case will ultimately lead to confiscation. Now, I should mention, this all sort of basically is rumors as on online form, uh, forums where folks were saying, you know, uh, certain arms dealers are no longer uh, supplying these guns. What's going on? And so we appealed to the RCMP. We said, is there a reclassification of this firearm underway? And what kind of firearm are we talking about? It's Faith? a Swiss Arms Classic Green Rifle. So it's a semi-automatic rifle. And there have been murmurs within the gun community that the RCMP has an agenda at hand. And that is one to reclassify and essentially prohibit semi-automatic rifles. Well, like conspiracy theories, you know, like stay downstairs in the bunker with a tin foil. That's not what this is about, okay? There are 2010 memos that have already come to life, mm. uh, light through the Information Freedom or uh, Access to Information Act, rather, that say just that. That is the RCMP's plan. But anyway, uh, we have to basically find out through rumors on forums. We appealed to the RCMP, Sun News Network did, and they said, yes, there is a re-examination of this firearm. Now, I should okay. mention, all firearms, Menzoid, they fall under one of three categories. They're either non-restricted, restricted, or prohibited. There's no license for prohibited anymore. Okay. This firearm was non-restricted, which means there's no registry. It's basically the easiest type of uh, category of firearm you can get. Now they're looking to reclassify it to bring it all the way to the prohibited class. So you would be, you'd have, to, you'd get your guns confiscated. And by the way, Faith, yeah. for people that aren't into gun culture. Who would own this gun? What would you use this gun for? Um, well, I met a man yesterday who had a few different ones, and he was a physician, an obstetrician to be specific. Okay. Um, essentially, you use it to go with target practice and go shooting, you know, at your provincially sanctioned gun range. Okay. And I got to say, um, there's never been one incident in this country with a Swiss arms uh, um, rifle, this type of rifle, rifle specifically. At, that's what the RCMP told me, okay? I'm not okay. making this stuff up. No, so if that's the case, then what's driving it? Why is suddenly this gun firearm non grata? Well, the easy answer is because it's a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, but the more complex answer is this. In order for any sort of reclassification to exist, RCMP has to go through cabinet, except there are certain exceptions. And that is if the firearm is easily converted into fully automatic fire, um, or if it's deemed a variant of another type of firearm. RCMP will not tell me if it's deemed a variant, and they will not tell me whether or not it's easily convertible. And I should mention, our law does not actually flesh out what means these words, uh, easily convertible. Well, why the lack of transparency then? Well, that's a very good question, especially when you consider the fact that the RCMP has already classified this. It's already been mm. through their labs 12 years ago when it was first allowed to be imported from the Swiss into Canada. So you gotta think about how many thousands of people now have these firearms in their homes. Firearms, which by the way, criminals aren't necessarily buying because it costs about $4,000 each. Well, but the point of the matter is here, uh, RCMP is bypassing cabinet. They are not being transparent. And at the end of the day, they're changing their mind. The facts of this firearm have not changed over the past 12 years. All that's changed is RCMP mind, basically their opinion, which is backed with the full force of the law. Because if you decide not to turn in this gun, not to participate in what might be a voluntary buyback program, okay. guess what? You're looking at three years in jail. Well, exit question, Faith. How realistic um, would this be mm -hmm. to come into a law? Can anything be done at the highest political level if there is the will, assuming that there is, to put the kibosh on this? Great question. Uh, very realistic, Menzo. In the past, uh, um, uh, since Harper basically came to government, already six firearms have been reclassified from non-restricted 
to prohibit it. So this would be the seventh one, okay? Gun owners know that this is a real possibility. Whether or not Vic Taves, because remember the RCMP falls under the Ministry of Public Safety, uh, I asked him, I asked his office, would you stand idly by if there was a reclassification? They said basically we we, we ensure that all you know laws will be followed and no crimes will be committed. What? Oh my gosh. I want to hear someone grow a spine and yeah. say no, we abolished the long gun registry. We promised that there was no greater reclassification agenda. Folks at home, you're abiding the laws, you get to keep your guns. Well, to quote that left-wing progressive Bruce Coburn, if I had a rocket launcher. <laughs> thank you so much. You, I think that might be on the prohibitive list. <laughs> I guess he didn't know that when he recorded that too.